Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. Still alive, in in color, in uh, near Alpine, Texas, in RV park. A little cool here this morning. In my, in my Casita RV, 17-footer, 84 square feet of interior space. A little cool again. It's about 55 in here, 58. I've got the, well, I had the little electric heater on, but I turned it off because the mic picks up the sound. And people always want to know what that noise is. Anyway, I got 84 square feet of interior space. Been RV in a long time. And uh, what else can I tell you? I hope Jose and and his wife are doing fine on their travels. Again, thanks for stopping by to visit. But anyway, what else can I say? Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Alpine, Texas? The current temperature in Alpine is 58. There is currently a hard freeze warning in effect. Yeah, it's supposed to be 20, 28 in the morning. The high today is supposed to be 61, so it's going to be a little chilly today and tomorrow, which is nice because I'm going to go down to uh, Long Draw Pizza near Terlingua. It's about 80 miles away, one way. But having said that, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 41. 41 sunny with a high of 62. Pretty nice. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte? Montana. The current temperature in Butte is 24. With a high of 50. Not too bad. It says cloudy. But anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in New York City? The temperature in New York City right now is 52. 52 sunny with a high of 68. That's pretty nice. Nothing wrong with that, guys. But anyway, hey, uh, what else? Uh, oh, I got to introduce the gang here. This is Trenton Clump. That's an it. That's a little travel trailer somebody sent me. That's a teddy bear with my name on it. That's Popeye and Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons. That's Betty Boop from the 1930s. And that sticker behind them is a uh, native Texan with jalapeno on it. This is a thousand yen note. Uh, that's a five euro note. And below that is two two dollar bills. That's a frugal RV sticker. Check her channel out, and that's Mr. Bo Jangles. And if you pull his string, he'll dance. And that's uh, Organic Bananas. That's Olive Oil's Bra. That's a uh, Eva Dry Dehumidifier. Helps a little bit. And that is a uh, smiling face, obviously. Somebody, it's the bottom of a can or top, depending on your point of view. And that little sign there says, Life is better in a casita, and it is. And that pillowcase has got... Little travel trailers all over it. Somebody made it for me and sent it to me, and thank you very much for doing that. Anyway, <clears throat> this is today, folks, the first day of the rest of your life, the day after yesterday and the day before tomorrow. So since it's the first day of the rest of your life, make it a good one. <laughs> Put a smile on your face and enjoy it. Anyway, what else can I tell you? Moody Mama says how to pronounce, she's got a link to how to pronounce the name of the cactus, that, that's the name of the road coming in here, Lechigua, 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 <laughs> something like that. Tom Clams, hot diggity dog, that looks good, good with a beer. Yeah, on the, on the, on the cow dog, yeah, that was good. they're very good, man, because they, it's a, they use those uh, Hebrew national wieners, and uh, they put bacon in, well, they got all different kinds, the one I had had bacon, and all kind of stuff. <clears throat> Their tricks are from Germany says yummy and hungry. Greetings. Greetings to you. Lee Ben. Hey Rusty, I know you don't know this, but the best hot dogs are in Chicago, not New York. The, the dogs in Chicago are called Vienna hot dogs. Well, Lee Ben, in my opinion, the best hot dogs are right here in Alpine, Texas. No kidding. Cow dogs are pretty hard to beat. And I'm not going to go to New York or Chicago to get one for sure. I'll tell you what you do have in Chicago. Good pizza. Uh, I stayed at the downtown Marriott one time and went to the uh, downtown <clears throat> downtown Numero Uno's Pizza Place and got me a deep dish pizza. And boy, was it good. Anyway, Murray Johnson, two pop-outs on the same side and none on the other. Scares me a bit. Well, I don't know why that would scare you. They're not going to drive down the highway with them out. Or they better not. Uh, it says Murray Johnson, who are Jose and Rosie hiding from? Me. They didn't want me. To, they didn't want to be in the camera, and you know, and that's fine. I don't mind that a bit. And you know, I mean, yeah, but yeah, people always are curious. You know, we're we're a curious animal. You know, we want to know things. You know. Anyway, Debbie M, don't worry, I won't film you. That's what I say. Well, you know, because they they said they didn't want they wanted me to do a video, but they didn't want to be in it. Is you know, 
nothing wrong with that. I, I would probably say that myself. And, and that, that RV was spotless. Did you notice that? Did you notice how clean Rosie had gotten that RV for, the, for me to do a video? I mean, it was showroom perfect. Raccoon Little Bear. And one native said to the other, apron first seeing a hot dog. A pawn. Oh, a pawn. First seeing a hot dog. What part did you get? I got a hot dog. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyway, Elmo's mid-lap. I know a guy named Jose in Oakland, California. Interesting. Well, they're not from Oakland. Uh, Ray Sova, do, do you sleep in the Prius? I, I used to go camping in the Prius, guys, for those of you that don't know that. I did that off and on for five years. It says And then Ray Sova says, do you sleep in the Prius or do you carry a tent? Seems, a, seems cramped in a Prius. No, I slept in the Prius, and it was very comfortable. I had a trifold memory foam mattress on one side, and it was perfect. I, as I slept, I sleep better in that Prius than I do here. No kidding. It was wonderful. Co so cozy, man. Taz Mod, hello, Rusty. Looking good. That cow, go cow dog would go good with a beer. You know, I never drink beer and eat food. I've never eaten food and drank a beer with it, ever. Even barbecue or anything. I do my drinking, and then I do my eating. Don't like to get them mixed up. Hypno Turd, that's a catchy name. Stopped by Casita today, funny story, walked in and said we just wanted to look. The young lady at the door asked my name, so I gave her my name and said, well, if we're going to do all that, throw in that Rusty sent me. She kind of rolled her eyes and chuckled. I, I asked if she gets that a lot, and she said every day. <laughs> That's what, good. <laughs> you know, but the checks aren't coming in the mail, so I don't know what, the people are buying them, I hope. They are nice folks, and the Casitas are Bigger than I thought. Bumped my head twice on the door before I learned, though. Yeah, you gotta you gotta learn the casita waltz, whatever that is. But yeah, you 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 learn. <laughs> yeah, I did. Kathy Leonard's, the hens don't gobble. Okay, good to know. Uh, Scotty Thompson was the cow dogs hot dogs good. Rusty, very good. Scotty. Scotty says cool video talk. He also says I bet your LG G4 cell phone. One of the best cell phones you ever had. It is because, you know, as far as talking on the phone, it's good. But uh, for the videos, it's great. Scotty Thompson, cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you. Daniel Fuller. Uh, hey, is it cedar? Talking about the storage building. Uh, well, it, it looks like cedar, but it isn't. It's a type of pine on the inside. Greg Tripp, Alpine is a cool little town. When this outage is over, I guess he's out in California, is over, I'll be heading... Oh, never mind. When this outage is over, I'll be heading out west for a week of rest myself. Well, good luck. Joyce Forney on the hot dog. Hi, cow dog looks okay. In my hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, there is the most delicious hot dog called the Texas Wiener. <laughs> Ironic. Which uh, has a smaller hot dog and type of chili sauce with onions, mustard on the softest bun this side of heaven. Now, this is a hot dog any Texan would certainly enjoy. Blessings. Well, thank you, Joyce Forney, for the hot dog information. This is Gerard Trico. Says, for your listening pleasure, he left a link to something. Thank you, Gerard. Zachariah Young. This is on the uh, storage building, but another one. Says, Zachariah Young. And it's OSB, okay, but nice videos. Okay, well, thank you, Mike Will on the hot dog and he said mike will says now that's just cruel ha huh? i'm stuck in africa eating mres meals ready to eat courtesy of the u.s military and i go to my favorite place on the internet to relax and laugh and he's having a great hot dog with bacon <laughs> making my mouth water and drool like a dog yield to temptation yield to, this is a quote yield to temptation it may not pass your way again <laughs> robert a Heinlein. Good to see you're enjoying life. Have a beer for me, brother. Don't let your meat loaf. My uncle, Happy Trails, Rusty. Well, good luck to you, Mike. Enjoy those MREs, boy. I tell you, we used to get C rations, the old World War II stuff. And uh, actually, I kind of liked it. The scrambled eggs weren't bad. You know, they were, I don't know, 30 years old, but they weren't too bad. Uh, Dale Pointer, even when you're eating, you're always working on your notes, always documenting. Dog out. Yep, I have to keep a lot of notes because my, my memory ain't perfect. Shift into high thumbs up to you, JD Vision. I'm 44 years old on SSDI, whatever that is. Uh, is that 
he gets fifteen hundred a month. He says, is that income same as regular SS retirement? I have no clue, JD Vision. You have to figure that out on your own. Uh, Nana Betty G, all at beef, Hebrew natural, foot long on a toasted bun. Gimme. Yeah, you're right. This is six dot seven PSD. This town needs a Walmart and Jack in the Box. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, they uh, they not will get a Walmart in here. I promise you. Mm -mm. Not, no, no, no. Walmart's been here, and they go right back out. Uh, BBQ Rando, thank you for the um, emojis, I guess. Ernest Lucas, nice RV for sure. Will Hunt on bacon, I am in, in okay. He said, Will Hunt says, okay, bacon, I am envious, LOL. Yeah, it was good. I cut it into three pieces, three sections. I had one section like this last night, and then I'll have one today for lunch, and I'll probably have one tomorrow because I'll tonight I'm going to have Pizza. <laughs> I'm on a health food kick. Anyway, Clint Price looks so good. They don't have them here in New Jersey. Enjoy it, Rusty. Yeah, we'll see. We've got this cold. We're, it's supposed to be really cold tonight and tomorrow, all day tomorrow, and, and actually the next day. You know, the high is going to be in the 50s, so you, I need I need to put on a little extra fat, so I'm going to do that. You got that little point there? Put on extra fat. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> they used to do rap music when I was a kid. Anyway, Dixo2, beautiful, clean RV and very friendly RVers. They should start a YouTube channel. Yeah, I, Rick, I, I said that. Uh, Richard Howe, everybody talks about how lightweight it is, but nobody gives the actual weight. On the Casita, 2,450 pounds, Richard. I've probably said it 5,000 times. But no, it just depends if you watch the right video. It's 2,450 pounds. That's the Casita 17-footer Freedom Deluxe. Casey Lewis, that's a heck of a dog, Rusty. Enjoy your night. I did. I ate that hot dog with some popcorn, read a book, had a little glass of wine, and uh, slept like a baby. Randy C. on the Class C. Nice camper. Glad you didn't show him in the video. LOL. Whatever. J-I-L-C. Uh, 35000 uh, Anyway, that's on the storage building price. It is. That's what they're asking for. It. But, you know, you don't have to pay that much. You, you can get it finished any way you want to. Ridge Rover on comment call it says some people are rude when they see an RV and park in front of it. Uh, I was at a Dollar General store in Manzanita Beach, Oregon, and was turning around with my trailer in the lot. She refused to move when my wife asked nicely. She wasn't nice in her response. You know, some people's brain is upside down. You know what I mean? And you know, it's just well, just know that uh, she'll get her share. The world's like a wheel, babe. Paul's not claws on the storage building. I would love to live here. Perfect size for me. See, some people love that storage building living, and some people hate it. Welch, 7619. Texas is beautiful. Parts of it is. You know, it's just, a, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. We've got forests. We've got beaches. We've got desert. We've got it all. Man, we've got a few mountains. Nothing like Colorado. We don't have any teeners. But, you know, we've got some go up around 8,000 or so feet, which are nice to look at. I live in the Texas Hill Country, which I like. Uh, Welch, oh, that's already read that. Go along here, Rusty, get going. Tim Harris, Rusty, I am glad you are doing good. I've been busy, haven't followed your videos in a while. May the Lord, but the 18 hour ride east of San, east of, 18 hour ride east of San, Texas, wherever San, Texas is. I think there should be something else with that. Thank you, Tim. Izzy Law says that's a big wiener. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, George Murphy, beautiful rig, probably way out of my budget. I don't know what he paid for. I don't ask people what they pay for things. I, I don't ask people how much money they make, how much they pay for things, why they wear the clothes they wear. I usually don't ask many questions. Uh, well, I mean, I will about RVing, but anyway, George Murphy, beautiful rig anyway. Later Gator, happy Halloween. -er. How about that? That's a pretty spooky looking sandwich, maybe a blood sausage. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, different strokes for different folks, guys. Nighthawk, dang, Rusty, he is in every mirror. Well, they got mirrors everywhere. <coughs> He's a nice guy. He's not. They're just. They were just camera shy. That's all. Michelle Lynn, that Thor is a nice RV. Thanks for the tour. It is. It's a beautiful RV, and the cabinets are good too. Nancy Evans, that is exactly what you need. More leg room? No, I don't. I got plenty of room right here. But thank you, Nancy. Kathy Fan, ha ha, like the fun, Rusty. Like the fun today, Rusty. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, again, cooler here, in, cooler here, too, in Sacramento, California. Well, that's good. Thank you, Kathy. Birdman, <clears throat> uh, he says, is that thing on wheels? 
Is it made of cedar? One answer covers both questions. No. DM, good grief. Emphasis on the good. Looks spicy. It was delicious, guys. Susan Boggs, enjoy, my friend. I did. Matthew, Matthew Bumby on the stories building. If we elect Andrew Yang for president 2020, we can all imagine this and make it possible. Okay. Sven Johnson. For those of you that would like to activate the grumbles in your tummy, check out the menu. Uh, he's got a link to cowdog.com. Yeah, so check it out. You can see the cow dog menu. No, they got a lot of good stuff. I'm not kidding you. I just picked them. It's called the Mexican. I got the Max Mexican. The Max is, I don't know, it's a foot long hot dog. Wandering Kentucky and you can't beat a good cow dog. It looks delicious. It was. I mean, it's just good, you know. Uh, Spiderhead. I never knew health food could look so good. Much better than lentils, tofu, asparagus, gonads, and gluten-free, low-fat, no-salt, whole wheat bagel. You will live forever, ever enjoy, my friend. Well, yeah, it's your variety is a spice of life, Spiderhead. Joanne Harden looks yummy. It was Calvin, retired geezer firefighter. Love my cow dogs. Alan even sent me a cow dog T-shirt. Enjoy, amigo. Can't wait get to get back to Alpine. Well, it's still here, as far as I can tell. Okay, Tom Clam says, that's what you, that's what you would want. That's what I'd like done. Need a car. Oh, that he wants, he wants that Thar Class C. Okay, thank you, Tom. Dennis, 78382. Here's something I don't often say to another man. That's a fine-looking wiener you got there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Mr. B, yep, chili dog for dinner. You got it. Ger Gerald Medios, why is it called a cow dog? I don't know. Call them and ask them. <clears throat> uh, KVN, MC, and Turf 1. And on that note, I'm going to go and make hot dogs for dinner. <laughs> This is on the New Falcon RV, Jalopy Rips, Zombies Selling RVs, uh, I guess. Ollie and Paul, I, I don't sell RVs, Ollie, or excuse me, Jalopy. Uh, Ollie and Paul, now I am hungry. That looks good. Have a good night. We'll do a few more and then shut her down here. Christopher Smith, looks delicious, Rusty. Cactus Jack, you are making me hungry. What's for dessert? Nothing. Charlie Porch, you forgot your beer. No, I drank the beer before I ate my hot dog. I, I don't drink beer with a meal ever. <clears throat> Never have. Mark Bahek, Rusty, I'm tasting a cheap 19 buck. Tasting. Wrong. Mark Bahek, Rusty, I'm testing a cheap $19 ZTE R2 visible phone. So far, the phone data service and texting is good, Verizon. I'm having a little trouble getting the hotspot on the phone to work, but I'll get there. 40 bucks, unlimited, but tower managed. If you use someone's referral code, you could get the first month for 20 bucks to play with a service, but it's only on Verizon Towers. No, I'm satisfied with what I got right now. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the last one here will go with Older, Balder, Wiser. <clears throat> we just bought a 2006 450 LXI Wonder Lodge, Wonder Lodge with 47,000 miles. My dad owned seven motorhomes in his lifetime. The last three were American Eagles. He always upgraded. We decided to get one and be done. I see the increase in Class Cs on the lot with, with the over 100K price tags. Not my idea of a good value. Well, you know, your idea of a good value really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? People do what they do, and you do what you do. And, you know, I appreciate your input, though. But anyway, having said that, guys, uh, hey, Google, make us laugh. I forgot that, didn't I? How do mountains see? They peak. Not too shabby. Hey, Google, tell us a lion joke. Here's a joke for Halloween. Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Because you can see right through them. Write that down, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, guys, enjoy your day today. Thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. 
and that's the only way to lose weight to eat less guys I hate to tell you and then what else take deep breaths breathe in really deep hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly why because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure if you don't believe me check it out do it several times a day and then what else stretch 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 swivel 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 walk 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 exercise your body once or twice a day you'll never regret that either and then what else Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes. All this is your consciousness, your thoughts. Everything is right in that little old brain you have. So don't dr let people dump trash in it. Don't let negative Ned or negative Nancy in here, okay? Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time, whatever you can do. But yeah, it, you know, it's, uh, just put a smile on your face and go get started. You'll be surprised how, how good that'll work. But anyway, guys, adios, at ease, carry on. Bye-bye. We'll do something again later. I have no idea what yet, but I'll do something. Bye-bye. <laughs>